Hey, what's going on YouTube? Crow Sama here. And today we're taking a look at a magnificent mobile suit, which is the Susan Susano Wo. Oh man, it's a mouthful. But this is a pretty awesome suit from the 00 series and is piloted by Mr. Bushito, who previously piloted, you know, mainly flag suits, which I don't know why we don't have an overflag. I would absolutely love an overflag in this game. But Anyways, we don't have that. We have this other beautiful suit. So let's take a deep dive and see exactly if this is something you should be buying more parts of and what parts you should be upgrading. Now the attribute on this is going to be a power attribute and it's going to have some pretty decent word tags. So close combat, the four space is not great, but you know, that's just kind of a given at this point. Uh, but close combat is actually pretty decent for this mobile suit since this is going to be a melee oriented mobile suit now the ex skill is actually pretty good so it is the beam chakram and it's a beam shot attack and it's going to have some good secondary abilities something you can definitely do right off the back it's not going to have great piercing or power but what it does do is it lowers the enemy's gun plus, uh, melee defenses by 19 percent and their shot defense by 19 percent the reason I say that this is actually pretty decent is because this is this could actually work in your favor in the multi missions because you know honestly you don't want to just keep buffing yourself up in multi missions. Doing a lot of debuffs actually assists your uh, partners, you know, especially if you're going to be you know the debuff kind of main, and then your you know partner mobile suits they all are going to be the uh, buff you know mobile suits or whatever roles they're going to have. So. I'm a firm believer that debuff is an actual uh, important attribute in this game that most people I don't think are really taking advantage of, but it's something that you can definitely uh, utilize to your advantage and it's doing both melee and shot defense decreases, so you get the best of both worlds. Now we're looking at the body, you know, the stats once again aren't really like, uh, you know, amazing at all, in fact they're kind of underwhelming, but let's take a look at the EX skill. So the EX skill is GN Vulcans. There's going to be a beam shot, D in piercing, B in power. There's going to be multiple different shots with the magazine, and obviously you can do it right away. So um, not really anything crazy. Honestly, I would write this off as just meh. All right, now we have the arms, which has a really decent melee attack of 2300. Uh, everything else is kind of, uh, the melee defense is pretty good, but you're not going to have any resistances whatsoever, so be wary of that. Now looking at the parts trait, with Dual Sabers category equipped, melee power is going to be boosted 25%. That is a lot. Now obviously the melee weapons that you're going to want to have, or the, the dual weapons that you're going to want to have, is probably the Mars 4. But uh, the weapons that actually come with this mobile suit is not going to be too bad, and you'll see a little bit later. But definitely the Mars 4 I believe is the best of the Dual Saber category. All right, now we're looking at the legs. The word tag is going to change from four space to four computers. So take that as you will. The rest of the stats are, nah, it's, it's not really that, uh, that amazing, to be honest. Uh, it's going to have a lot of emphasis on the melee defense, which is good. But I really wish they would have you know, put a little bit of that stat into the melee attack. Now, the EX skill for this is going to be a Trans Am Ray, which is pretty much like Exia, but... You know, looking, we're, it's not really going to be as great. So you're going to have physical melee, you got D, B+, plus, 20 seconds, and you're going to do the same exact uh, animation, and it's going to raise melee attack of your squad by 39%. So the reason I say it's not as amazing, because obviously the, um, the, the raw power is not there. Uh, and I do believe, if I'm not mistaken, that Trans Am Raid on Exia actually increases speed as well. So it's... It's pretty much a discounted Exia backpack. Now we'll take a look at the backpack. Honestly, it's not really great. Everything's pretty underwhelming except for the melee defense, which is fantastic. So the parts trait on the backpack is gonna be 15% chance to prevent veneer uh, consumption when stepping. I don't really care for it. That's not my thing. And for the dual blades, we're gonna have the Shira Nui uh, Unryu uh, blades. These are going to have a whopping 2867 in melee attack, which is great uh, for dual blades. And looking down at the EX, uh, sorry, not the EX skill, the parts trait, we're going to have in-fighter job, initial EX skill charge boosted 12%. 
that's actually pretty decent. You know, you if you want just to unleash your EX skills immediately, this is something that's going to you know pretty much assist you. So you know, if you're going to want the you know, legs as, in terms of like having a discounted um, you know Trans Am raid, you can go ahead and use this to kind of speed up that process, especially since you're maxing it out. Uh, and I do believe that those legs are pretty much going to be better than my Exia backpack, but. Once again, it really depends on what parts you have because I might not have a better backpack to replace the Exio one. And lastly, we are going to have Mr. Bushido, who is going to have a different word tag, which is going to be high mobility. Still don't think that's great, but it is there for an option. Uh, now he is going to have great melee attack, which is fantastic. And now with the parts trait with power attribute self, EX skill cooldown reduced 15%. It's That's not bad, but you really want to focus a lot more on your melee attack because you're going to be missing out on everything else. Like, you're not going to have any defenses and, you know, like, I'd rather just get as much melee attack as possible so that way I can finish the battle as soon as possible. Uh, and if I'm getting down to my secondary um, cooldown on an EX skill, I'm probably not going to live to see that finish. Now let's go ahead and take him out into the battle. Alright, so now... Uh, I actually have one of my you know partners with me so that way we can take a look and uh, I won't die because <laughs> I'm definitely weak so the Vulcans yeah pretty much just standard kind of Vulcans obviously it's gonna do some uh, really good damage and uh, bring down some defenses oh sorry not the Vulcans the the beam that's the one it does there we go. That's actually what brings it down. All right, Trans Am Raid. Let's see how it looks. There you go. Basically the same thing as the Exit one. So for my final thoughts, let's see exactly what is worth your coin. The head, I think, is actually worth the investment because it does lower defenses and that can be beneficial in future updates. The body, I don't think is great at all. Not a good EX skill, pretty much worthless. Now for the arms, I actually think that that is probably the best thing on this entire mobile suit. You're gonna want that you know, overall stat increase, that melee power, and it actually has decent power on its own. The legs is actually gonna have a Trans Am Ray, which is not gonna be better than the Exia, but the fact that you can max it out, vice the, uh, the Exia backpack, means it's pretty much a little bit better because you can get that max 39% which is going to be beneficial for your overall build. Now for the backpack, I don't think it's great at all. The dual blades, if you don't have any better dual blades then this is going to be what you need. Um, otherwise, uh, yeah, it's not amazing. It has, you know, pretty good stat. But, yeah, the infighter EX charge skill, I'm, I'm not really sold on it, but if you are going to use it, maybe just max it out so that way you can get your EX skills done as soon as possible. And lastly is Mr. Bushido. Don't really think the uh, trait is good at all. However, he is an infighter and he has pretty damn good attack stat. I have better though, um, so I'm not really, pro I'm probably not going to use him. Uh, I've been sticking with Duo Maxwell for a while, so I might just stick with him uh, continuously. But that's all for me, guys. So this is looking like a pretty, pretty decent mobile suit. I mean, we don't really have too many mobile suits that have an amazing EX skill such as this one. However, it is borrowing from the Exia, so it's not fascinating and not you know original. But it is still a welcome addition to the Welfare mobile suits. Uh, but that's it for me, guys. I do think this is pretty much worth uh, investing in in some way, shape, or form. And I do hope that you have a great time customizing it and making it worthy for battle. But that's it for me, guys. I'll be seeing you all in the next installment of Gundam Battle Gunpla Warfare. Bye-bye.